Good morning students. In our previous class, we have studied about the structure of I in detail. With that knowledge, let us now understand the working of I. Students, what is the function of an I? Yes, it is to form images of whatever we see. So, when we see the image, the image is formed by I. So, I help us to see things. But how? Let us see the mechanism. When light from an object falls on cornea, cornea is the transparent portion of the sclera, right? So, when light falls on cornea, the light passes through pupil and falls on convex lens. So, this is the convex lens, right? You, you already know from physics that when light falls on convex lens, what happens? The light after passing through convex lens converge and forms image at focal point. Right? It is same here. When light falls on convex lens of our eye, the light rays converge and forms image on retina because our retina is exactly at the focal point of our lens. Understood? So, physics lo chati kada like convex lens gonda light pravi pass in after passing through convex lens em avutundi a light anedi converge ayi focal point degra maniki image form avutundi same hi ikkada kuda alage jarugutundi mana lens ki retina ki madhya distance entu untundante focal length anta distance so uh, convex lens yokka focal point degare maniki retina untundi so anduvalla em avutundante light uh, after crossing convex lens, converge i retina me the image ni form jayadam jarugutundi. Understood? And you already know from physics that after passing through uh, convex lens, the image formed is always inverted, right? Inverted image form outundi. And also it is left to right inverted. So left to right inversion and upside down inversion no manam chodachu. So ante this apple uh, is upside down here. The image of the apple is upside down and it is laterally inverted. Okay. So such an image is formed on retina. Now what happens is we already know that retina is made up of rods and cones, right? These rods and cones they convert this image information into electrical signals and send this information to the visual region of the brain. So this is the visual region of the brain and this information is carried in the form of electrical signals or we can say neural signals to the brain. Now, brain will restructure that information, reconvert that information again into optical information or light information and then we start perceiving the object so brain brain ki um, e retinal cells like rods and cones in chest and information ni neural signals form low electrical signals form low brain ki information ni form is there. brain in chest on the mali electrical impulses ni optical information ga mali mali light information ga convert chesi maniki object into chapthundi like uh, choose the apila, like a ant, a ant, a brain ki reach in a travate, brain mali, then restructure chase kuna travate, manikar the motundi. So, uh, until and uh, unless uh, the signals reach the brain, we can't perceive the object, though the image is formed on the retina. Did you understand? So, retina me the image form in a putki koda, we, we don't perceive unless um, if the like if the signal reaches the brain understood so this is how uh, the image is perceived by us uh, when light from object passes through our eye but uh, here is a question the image formed here is upside down but we don't perceive things upside down mana came up upside down convince objects so what is happening here 
Actually, we have two optic nerves, left optic nerve from left eye, right optic nerve from right eye. These two nerves, they cross over each other and move towards opposite sides of the brain. Left nerve goes to right side and right nerve goes to left side of the brain. After going there, the, uh, the signals that they, they bring, they get superimposed. And from that superimposed information, brain reconstructs a true image. Understood? So, uh, e optic nerves in it be the uh, inverted image information ne brain ki tis kostai. But two sides ne choche a information ne brain no superimposed chess kone true image ne maniki manam perceive a yelaga chest tundi. Understood, students? So, it is not the eye. Uh, that gives perception. It is the brain that gives the perception. Though the image is formed on the retina, we can't uh, we can't understand what it is unless our brain reconstructs the true image out of it. Understood, students? I hope you all understood how our eye works. Thank you.